Hey guys, welcome to VD Check Academy. Today's topic is periodicity of trigonometric functions. So first, let me define a periodic function. So a function f of x is said to be periodic if there exists a real p which is greater than zero, such that f of p plus x is equal to f of x. Then the least value of p is called the period of the function. And now let us proceed and discuss periods of various trigonometric functions. So, in order to discuss, there is a table provided here with trigonometric functions such as sin x, cos x, tan x, and so on. So, here if this trigonometric function sin x, which is equal to f of x, is a periodic function then its period will be equal to 2 pi and similarly if f of x is equal to cos x then the period of that function is also equal to 2 pi and then coming to the next function which is f of x is equal to tan x then its period is pi and similarly we get the periods of all these functions and then if f of x is a periodic function with a period p then f of ax plus b is also called as a periodic function with period p by mod a. So now let us write the trigonometric functions in the form of f of ax plus b or f of ax. So here for trigonometric function that is f of x is equal to sin ax or sin ax plus b the period of that function will be equal to 2 pi by mod a where a is the coefficient of x in the function and similarly if the function which is f of x is equal to cos ax or cos ax plus b is a periodic function then the period of that function will be also equal to 2 pi by mod a and then the period of the function f of x is equal to tan ax or tan ax plus b then the period of that function will be equal to pi by mod a. And similarly, we get the periods of all these trigonometric functions. And now let us proceed and discuss few examples on this concept. So here we have to find period of the trigonometric function that is cos 2x by 3. So we already know that period of cos x is equal to 2 pi whereas the period of cos ax plus b is equal to 2 pi by mod a. So here it is in the form of ax. So by comparing both the equations that is cos ax plus b and cos 2x by 3 we get a equal to 2 by 3. So period of this function will be equal to 2 pi by mod a. So here the value of a is 2 by 3 so here we get 2 pi by mod 2 by 3. And here by simplifying we get 2 pi into the reciprocal of the denominator which is 3 by 2 here and here 2 1 time is 2 and 2 1 time is 2. So that implies we get here 3 pi as the period for the function cos 2x by 3. And now let us proceed and discuss an another example. So here we have to find the period of the function that is cot 3x minus 4 by 7. And here we already discussed the period of the function cot x which is pi and the period of the function cot ax which is pi by mod a. So now let us write our given example in the form of ax plus b. So here we can write this in the form of cot 3x by 7 minus 4 by 7. So here it is in the form of cot ax plus b whose period will be equal to pi by mod a. So here by comparing the given function with ax plus b we get a equal to 3 by 7 and then substituting the value of a in the period that is pi by mod a we get here pi by mod 3 by 7. So that implies we can write this in the form of pi into the reciprocal of denominator which is 7 by 3 here. So that implies we get the result as 7 pi by 3 which is the period for the given function. And now let us proceed and discuss one more example. 
So here we have to find the period of sin x into cos x. So that implies we can write this function in the form of 1 by 2 into 2 into sin x into cos x. And here 2 into sin x and cos x is in the form of sin 2a which is equal to 2 sin a cos a. So here this is the formula and by using this formula we can write 1 by 2 into sin 2x. And we already know that period of the function sin x is equal to 2 pi and the period of the function sin ax is equal to 2 pi by mod a. So here by comparing sin ax with sin 2x we get a equal to 2. So that implies the period of this function will be equal to 2 pi by mod a which is 2 pi by 2 here and here we can simplify that is 2 pi by 2 and here 2 1 time is 2 and 2 1 time is 2. So here we get pi as the period of the function sin x into cos x. So this was the basic introduction on periodicity of trigonometric functions. Hope you understood the concept. Do like and subscribe to vdchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.